So today we're going to run through the adjustments you can make during a ceramic or glass firing. Um, so the first thing to note, we've got the stop button up in the top left hand corner. If you ever need to stop the firing, just press that. It'll take you to the idle screen. Um, the next thing we've got is the view button. So if we press that, we can view the currently firing program. Use a scroll bar to see the rest. Um, and then we can press the graph button to see a graph of the firing. Um, so there's a couple things to note here with the graph. Um, first of all, we've got orange vertical lines here. Um, those represent each segment of the firing. Um, then we've got the green vertical line out here you see with 4 hours and 36 minutes on it. Um, that represents where we are currently at with the firing and compared to the rest of the, the graph. Then we've got gray vertical lines here. You see the 2 hour and 4 hour mark. That represents the time at various points throughout the firing. Um, then we've got the green graphing line, which you see is here on the left side of the graph. That represents the firing's actual path. And then you see at the green line where we are currently in the firing, it switches over to yellow. And the yellow line is the projected path of the firing. Now right now you can't see any, but if you see any red lines here on the left side of the graph with the green, the red line is where the, gra or where the firing should have gone and the green line is where it actually went. So if you have an issue, you can see where the firing should have been compared to where the firing actually went to. Then we've got horizontal gray lines here with, num with white numbers here on the left, and that just represents the temperature of the kiln. And then we can see down here, the current temperature of the kiln right now is 1,118 degrees. Then we can also press the table button. The table button, this just shows us each individual segment of the firing but since it's not a custom program, we cannot make any changes. It's purely just for viewing. So let's get back to the home screen. Okay, so now the next option here, we've got the adjustments button. So if you press that, we can either add time, add temperature, skip step, or the alarm temperature. So if we add time, we press that, and our hold time is added five minutes. Now this only will affect it if you're in a hold. If you're in an up or a down ramp, the add time won't make any difference and won't make any changes to the firing. Now right now you can see our set point is 1,118 degrees. We hit adjustments and we want to add temperature. You can see our set point is added 5 degrees to our temperature. Again, that only takes effect if you're in a hold. It does not make a difference if you're in an up or a down ramp. Next we've got the skip step. So skip step, that will skip the current step and you'll move on to the next segment. Now I'm not going to push it right now because we're in the final segment and that will actually end our firing. Um, the last thing here under adjustments we've got the alarm temperature. So right now we've got it set to 2300 degrees so if the kiln gets over that then it'll send us an alarm. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just change it so if you want to ever change it during a firing you can change that press save and I set it to all nines which means that the alarms will not go off. Now if you hit the home button we're back at the main screen here again. Then we've got menu down at the bottom left hand corner and there's a couple things to note here. We've got the statistics button so that just gives you the last statistics from the diagnostic testing. So that's just purely for viewing and helping to diagnose if there's any issues. Now number two, diagnostics. If you press that, it'll run a manual diagnostics test. So you can see it's changed to check all up here at the top. And then once it's finished, it'll go back to firing again. And then if you press menu statistics, this will give you what it read from the control or from the kiln then. Then we hit back. Then we've got thermocouple offsets. This is just so you can view if you have any thermocouple offsets. Right now we don't have any set. So we hit back back and now we're back at the home screen and you can see during the firing right now we've got our ter current temperature is 1,121 degrees our hold time we're still at 25 minutes we're in the third segment out of three and our set point is 1,123 degrees if you press that you can see each thermocouple its temperature and the percentage to the elements below that and then it still remains with the set point down at the bottom if you press that, it'll take us back to the regular screen. But that's it for now, so remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, or sign up for our e-newsletter e for more information. Thanks! Bye.